After doing a video on how to calculate your menstrual cycle, I got a lot of questions as to why is it important for me to know how to calculate my cycle. Let's answer that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, yes, there are many reasons why you should know how to calculate your cycles. So the very first reason is to know your unsafe sex days this is for my young people who are still sexually active very sexually active it's important for you to know your cycle to know when okay this is the period where i cannot have sex it's liable for me to get pregnant during this period or this is the period where oh god i can have enormous amount of sex and i'll not get pregnant so that's the first reason why you should know how to calculate your menstrual cycle the second reason is to know the exact day when you're ovulating. This is going to help you if you're having fertility problems or if you want to prevent pregnancies. You know, there's this conception that everybody um, ovulates on the 14th day. Usually they say the 14th day because they have taken an average of an average menstrual cycle to be 28 days and you ovulate midway a midway of your menstrual cycle. So that's why they always say ovulation occurs on the 14th day. It does not occur for everybody like that if you have a cycle of 26 days like your, uh, your ovulation is going to be on the 13th day so ovulation does not always occur on the 14th day and also note when you ovulate your the egg remains or lasts for about three days before it degenerates and if you have sexual intercourse with anybody it, the sperm can last in the cervix for about one to five days so you have to know this and know your ovulation because if you don't know this and you say, oh, I'm ovulated here, I'll have sex today, I cannot get pregnant in the next two days. If you have sex today, in the next two days, in the next week, you can get pregnant. So that is why it's important to calculate your menstrual cycle. The next reason why it's also important to calculate your cycle is to know, see, the cycle helps or shows us some specific kind of diseases i've said there's this particular pathology polycystic ovarian syndrome is becoming very very common and he has a triad or a criteria to say okay this patient has polycystic ovarian syndrome and one of the elements of polycystic ovarian syndrome is irregular menstrual cycles so if you don't know your, how to calculate your cycles you will not know if it's regular or irregular and you'll be thinking that oh you're normal when you're suffering from this and polycystic ovarian syndrome patients usually present with infertility it can really affect you in the future you'll be like oh i can't give birth but you know that's because you have an underlying condition but if you Calculate your cycle i'm like okay this is happening i have irregular cycles you go to the hospital consult that okay i have irregular cycles they do a checkup they pick up these things early start medication and they improve prognosis so it's very important for you to know your cycles to know how to calculate your cycle to know how many days and the second reason another disease that you can also pick up early is fibroid my youngest have like myomas are becoming very very common if your cycles are irregular it could also be an indicator that all right uh maybe i have a fiber maybe i have a myoma so it's very important to calculate your cycle so go down my video and learn how to calculate your cycle another reason why it's important to calculate your cycle is to understand certain changes that occur in your body before the cycle okay for example bloating let me use myself when uh, my period is coming i bloat so since I'm not bloating, I'll not wear any skimpy clothes. I'll not be like, oh, let me look all sexy. Or I was going to my like, oh, how are you looking pregnant? It's not, I'll not be all shaken. I'll not be like, no, because I'm not, that's my cycle. This is me. This is my period coming. When is my period? My smile becomes so big. It is horrible. I become nauseated. There's nausea vomiting. You can even think that I'm pregnant, but just I just, you know, premenstrual syndrome, the premenstrual um, symptoms are. Uh, happening to me so it's good to know these things some people other people their breasts become tender they have pimples other things so it's good to know that okay i need to know how to get a cycle so when these things are occurring you know that okay fine this is because of my cycle this is because of this and this i hope this video is helpful i hope you learned something please help me share help me push it out and if you have any other questions as to why it's important to clear your cycle leave a comment and if you haven't yet learned how to clear your cycle go and watch the video see you in my next video bye bye